guys don't you just love training sure world but that was like our zillionth training mission in a row by my record we haven't had a real mission in three weeks five hours and 29 seconds not that i'm counting i'm worried we'll forget everything like when the humans yell help what do i do again step aside and let me save the day <laughs> recruits we have an emergency uh, yeah. well, let's go so what is it, Chief? A volcano? A meteor? A swarm of giant robo-badgers that are going to eat the town? What? We've had worse. It's a balloon. Stuck up a tree. I am not entirely clear on what makes this a mission. It may sound like nothing, but this balloon can cause trouble if it hits a power line on a windy day like today. It could break free and short-circuit the entire Milford power grid. Not if we can help it. A rescue is a rescue, right, team? I have business off planet, but Cody's in town if you need help. On a simple mission like this? And remember, this is Milford, so. They don't know about rescue bots, so we have to stay in disguise the whole time. Hmm. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. Recruits, roll to the rescue. Heatwave was right. That balloon could easily be blown into those power lines. Hot shot. What are you doing? There could be humans around. Relax. I don't see anyone. I'll be quick. Ugh. Ugh. Wait, uh, maybe we should make a plan. Come on, hoist. It's a simple climb and grab. What could possibly go wrong? <gasps> uh, that. Maybe I can distract them. I told him it was easy. Um... <gasps> well, easy-ish. Be calm, everyone. We clearly have a loud and disorderly driver here, so if you could all please clear the area, nobody will get hurt. Wow, Medics is really good at sounding like a human. Here, Hotshot, grab on and I'll lift you out before anyone sees. What? I can't hear you with all this wind. <gasps> wow, Hotshot, you sure are heavy. Wait, you don't have me. You've got the... Uh, tree! Whoops! <laughs> Put us down. Put us down. Whoa! That's it. Move along. Quick, quick, quick quickly quick. now. I can't steady it. If I don't get out of here, I'll hurt somebody! Huh? What about me? Come on, we gotta help World! Hey, wasn't there a tree there? <sighs> ah, the wind's getting worse! I need somewhere safe to put this tree down or I'm gonna drop it! <sighs> Yeah, and me. Don't forget about me. How can we forget about you? You got us into this mess. Well, just ahead of you is the Milford Weather Station. It's fenced off to the public. I see it. I think. Good. Hopefully you can set the tree down in the courtyard without anyone seeing it. You mean besides the people at the bottom of the tower? They'll see Hotshot. You gotta find someplace else. No time. The wind's too strong. Welcome to my tree. Uh, is it just me, or does that tower look like a rocket? 
Okay, everyone, launch of the weather satellite Shenhua in three, two. What is that? We have ignition. Uh oh. Uh, whoa, whoa, what's that noise? And why is the tree sh sh shaking? Whoa! I'm not taking the blame for this one. That's not good. Guys, do something! I'll call Cody. Hey, Wedge, how's it going? That balloon mission sounded like a real piece of cake, huh? Yeah, about that. I don't suppose you've seen anything like, I don't know, kind of weird in the sky? Weird? What do you mean weird? Oh. I'm on my way. Congratulations, you just won free groceries. You here to save us? Yeah! Whoa! Boys, be careful! I will! Look, the rocket boosters are losing power! If I can just time this right... Listen, guys, I really think we should get heat wave. No! I, I mean, please, Cody. If the chief thinks we can't even handle a simple mission like rescuing a balloon from a tree, he'll never let us leave the academy again. I don't think I want to leave it again. Well, I guess there's no time to find a space bridge or the rescue bots right now. But you're gonna have to tell heat wave at some point. Good news. I've calculated that the rocket is about to run out of fuel and should plummet to the ground any second. How is that a good thing? We need to land now, some place where we won't hurt anybody. And where no humans will see us. <sighs> Got it. The boosters are about to run out. Ah! Everyone, hold on. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't get too excited. We just wanted to save a balloon up a tree. And now it's a balloon up a tree, up a rocket, up a crane, up a really, really tall building. We should have planned this whole rescue before even starting it. I know, I know. I ran up the tree without thinking about what would happen if humans showed up. But hey, I got the balloon. Huh? Ah! Whoa! How did it even get up there? Guys, that thing could fall any second. You gotta find a way to stabilize it. Cody's right, team. We need a plan. And this time, let's think it through. And that's when things began to get easy. Well, less hard, anyway. First, we realized that if Wedge could reach the control cabin and followed my mathematical equations, he could balance the crane and stop it from falling over. At the same time, Hoist moved the rocket until it was safer. Which gave me time to help Whirl cut herself free. Then we worked together to secure the crane to the skyscraper. And once we knew it was safe, we escaped down the back of the building and sped away before anyone saw us. Boom! We couldn't take it down with so many humans watching, so Cody called the fire department. Impressive. You really thought things through. Eventually. 
We'll never rush into a mission unprepared again. No matter how easy it seems. I'm glad to hear it, but I still have one question. What happened to the balloon? Uh, we'll be right back. Don't wait up.